The easiest thing I've done was to get out from under the labels and to live the life that I live. The most difficult thing I've ever done was to believe that I can do it. Uh, the difference is that when you don't know what's impacting you, and it's, it's something that, that's holding you down and you're not aware of it, there are things that when you, in, in my situation, when you live in a dominant culture that is designed to destroy your sense of self and your belief in yourself, and, and you have to learn ways in which you can begin to connect with this power that you have within yourself to handle where you are. The key is to be constantly in a perpetual process of discovering the truth of who you are and fighting constantly to look for ways in which you can escape the inner conversation. I speak to audiences around the world and I, and I train speakers as well and I, I tell them that when you speak that there's, a, there's an objective that you want to achieve when you speak to an audience because how people live their lives is a result of the story they believe about themselves. So you as a speaker, when you speak in this program, when people see you, what you do is distract, dispute, and inspire. You distract people from their current story with your guests and the questions that you ask through the process of the ongoing questioning and the way in which they respond and the things they have learned, you dismantle their current belief system and inspire them to, to create a new chapter with their lives. And so, but that's an ongoing process of, of constantly interrupting that conversation, what psychologists call your self-explanatory style, because life is, is gonna beat up on you in so many ways and many things, they come back, you know, negative thoughts and, and how you feel about yourself, they don't die. They, they come back once you stop doing the maintenance work on your mind, listening to motivational messages, going to seminars and workshops, spending time quietly listening to the still small voice within. Uh, who am I really? Is this really me? Am I giving my best? Uh, am I just reflecting what's around me? because all of these various things affect how we show up in life. And so having a strategy to continuously uh, find ourselves reaching higher, you have to operate within the constraints of, of the dominant society and the things that they have created for you. And it's a challenge to see yourself beyond that and to work to get outside of that even after those laws have changed because that has become so much a part of you, you unconsciously operate within the parameters of what has been put in place. Like you go, you're driving on the expressway, the four or five, and, and, and you'll get off on an exit that you weren't going in that direction, but you unconsciously did it because you've done it so many times that many people, because they're not making a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to think outside of what life has thrown at them, they end up doing the same thing over and over and over again. Oliver Wendell Holmes said that once a man or woman's mind has been expanded with an idea, concept, or experience, it can never be satisfied to going back to where it was. And so at the end of the program, at the end of one of your presentations, there are people who because of you, their lives will be transformed and they will become a, a pencil, as Mother Teresa would say, in the hand of God and start writing a new chapter with their lives. If you want to become successful in life, young man, number one, you've got to change your mindset. If you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Number two, practice OQP, only quality people. You earn within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends. I found that out. I left all my bro broke friends. I say, y'all gotta go. And the third thing, develop your communication skills because once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. And that you have to work on yourself and you have to have an unstoppable attitude and no excuse is acceptable. And you've got to, to make it a, a, a priority, a non-negotiable in your life and hold a, a constant vision of what it is you want to achieve. See it accomplished and go all out. Find a way to win.
in spite of the setbacks, in spite of the disappointments, in spite of your failures, those experiences of of going after goals that's beyond your comfort zone and having relationships that will challenge you and surrounding yourself with coaches and mentors who can take you to a place within yourself that you can't go by yourself because you can't read the label when you're locked in the box. And so those experiences, they challenge you to go to that next level and continue to move forward in your life doing new and exciting things that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered the heart of mankind what God has in store for you when you live a hard-centered life deciding that you're going to live a life that will outlive you. You're going to live a life that counts, a life that will build a legacy and change the planet.